At the Center for Digital Strategies at Talk, we examine how information technologies affect individuals and how they enable business strategy. Through our BRIT Technology Impact Series, we've looked at IoT, Big Data, Cloud, Social, Mobile, and Video. This year, the BRIT Series is considering the convergence of all six of those technologies. So we invite you to listen in as our MBA fellows interview top executives in a series titled, Connected Everywhere, The Transformation to a Hyperweb World. One of the things you touch on, and I think um, it's very impactful as we think about our MBA experience, is the idea that you know disruption is not necessarily all technology driven. It's not something that's just happening in the lab. A lot of it is around the culture and the policies mm -hmm. and how you structure your organization to enable disruption. Mm -hmm. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts a little more on that. And as business leaders, how should we think about structuring companies or, or, or guiding policy to enable that kind of environment within our own companies? Yeah, absolutely important question. So one of the first things I have to do after I tell everyone digital disruption, digital is making this kind of change possible, consumers have embraced it, all of that, is to then say, but your response is not to suddenly go do whatever is digital. You know, it's not go build an app. I, I get that a lot. We're going to build an app. What should it do? It's like, no, 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 no. The decision to build an app should be the last decision in the process. The first step is to organize yourself to focus on the customer. And organizationally, that turns out to be very hard to do. Most organizations are optimized to accomplish the organization's goals, not the customer's goals. And that, that's saying that almost seems obvious, but it's painfully obvious. And you get in an organization and they all say, well, who's responsible for the customer? Well, technically, he does this and she does that. And, but really, they're all responsible for their own line of operations in the organization or their function, whatever that function is, they're not responsible for the experience of the customer. So the first organizational pain point that we have to address is, all right, who's going to step up and own the experience of the customer? More and more companies are actually hiring chief experience officers, the CXO or the CXP. That chief experience officer or, or um, president of experience in their organization is turning out to be really, really important to defining what the experience of the customer should be. But then organizationally, if they don't have authority or at least the relationships necessary to bring everyone else in, it goes nowhere. That's where sometimes the chief digital officer ends up. More and more popular these days, companies are hiring chief digital officers or CDOs. The problem with the CDO is that as a concept, you bring in this new person, you give them all the fun toys, and you say, this person's in charge of our future. Well, everyone else in the organization, from operations to finance to HR, they're going to resent that person. Hmm. And they're going to feel like, I don't want to make that person king you know, on, on my efforts. That happens, sadly, more often than it should. So you know, my recommendation is make the champion someone who already has the confidence of the CEO. And if that means bringing someone from the outside, but it needs to be someone from the outside that already has the confidence of the CEO so that the CEO can say publicly, this is the person responsible for the experience of our customer. Then you can align the other groups to say, all right, what's your role in supporting that? What's your role in supporting that? You know, you have companies where their divisions are aligned around customer service versus outbound marketing. Well, really, these are two faces of the same coin. They need to be brought together somewhere. And I don't really care how you do it organizationally, but culturally, you need to be accepting of that fact. But right now, their metrics are different. Their, sometimes their orientation towards the market, their feelings about the customer are different. One is coming from a brand marketing and targeting perspective, and the other one is coming from a, I see these problems every day when they're calling in the call center. That's what our customer really cares about. So very different perspectives. So in my work, some of it's just psychology. It's just listening to people as they explain why that other person in that other division is so mean uh, or bad. And, and me helping them realize, look, if we take the pressure off of it's you versus me and it's both of us in service of that customer, maybe it sounds a little storybook, but it turns out to be a great way to solve the problem because once you start working towards the best outcome for the customer, then people start competing with each other to do a better job for the customer. Mm -hmm. And that kind of competition internally is very healthy. So I think that about wraps up our time. Uh, again, speaking with James Wakuvi, uh, Forrester Research and author of Digital Disruption. James, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.